teachings of the Buddha. One of the Buddha's main teachings is the concept of the Noble Eightfold Path, also known as the Eightfold Path. The Eightfold Path of the Buddha, also known as the Noble Eightfold Path, is a central concept in Buddhism, particularly in the Theravada school. It is a path of spiritual practice that the Buddha taught to his disciples to attain liberation from the cycle of samsara, or perpetual suffering and rebirth. The Eightfold Path consists of eight stages, each of which represents a fundamental part of Buddhist practice. Right understanding, correct understanding of reality is the foundation of Buddhist practice. It is about understanding that everything that exists is impermanent, unsatisfactory, and devoid of a permanent identity. Right intention, once reality is understood, it is important to develop the intention to live ethically, compassionately, and without selfishness. Right speech, speech is a powerful weapon that can either hurt others or help them. Right speech means avoiding falsehood, slander, and offensive speech. Right action, ethical behavior is the foundation of Buddhist practice. This means avoiding killing, stealing, lying, engaging in inappropriate sexual conduct, and using substances that alter the mind. Right livelihood, the work we choose should be in line with Buddhist principles, i.e., it should not harm others or nature. Right effort, Buddhist practice requires constant effort to develop right understanding, ethics, and meditation. Right mindfulness, mindfulness is the ability to observe what is happening inside and around us without judgment. Right mindfulness is essential for meditation and developing an understanding of reality. Right concentration, meditation is an important tool for developing right concentration. It is about focusing on a single object, such as one's breath, to develop the ability to focus and calm the mind. The Eightfold Path is not a rigid and sequential path, but rather a set of interconnected stages that develop simultaneously. Furthermore, the path does not have a definitive end but rather represents a process of continual growth and spiritual development. The practice of the Eightfold Path requires discipline, patience, and dedication. However, the Buddha taught that every human being has the potential to achieve enlightenment, i.e., liberation from the cycle of samsara and realization of the ultimate nature of reality. To the Buddha, following this path is the best way to achieve liberation from the cycle of birth and death samsara, and attain enlightenment, nirvana. Additionally, the Buddha taught the transient and unsatisfactory nature of life, which is the doctrine of anicca and the doctrine of dukkha. He emphasized that desire and attachment to worldly things such as material wealth or interpersonal relationships cause suffering and dissatisfaction. He indicated that the path to liberation from suffering is the practice of meditation, which helps develop awareness and understanding of the true nature of reality. The Buddha also taught the doctrine of non-violence, ahimsa, and compassion, karuna, which refer to the importance of not harming living beings and alleviating the suffering of others. These teachings were applied by the Buddha in his own life, as evidenced by numerous stories about him. It is said that once the Buddha encountered a group of ascetics who had been beaten by their masters for not obtaining the spiritual knowledge they sought. The Buddha healed them with his compassion and medical ability, demonstrating his altruistic nature. 
Another famous story concerns the Buddha who was near a river where a woman asked him to help her find her drowned child. The Buddha dove into the river and found the child, returning him to the mother, once again demonstrating his compassion and altruism. In summary, the teachings of the Buddha focus on understanding the true nature of reality, practicing meditation, non-violence, and compassion. These teachings were applied in the Buddha's own life, demonstrating their effectiveness and value. Today, Buddhism remains one of the world's major religions, with millions of followers seeking to follow the Buddha's teachings to achieve inner peace and lasting happiness.